Man, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. All the new subscribers, welcome in. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. And check out the other content as well. We we do law and crime of all sorts. So also, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment below. But anyways, we're moving straight into Shonda Vander Ark herself. We're going to go back to Paul. We're going to spin the block. We're going to go back to Paul eventually. <laughs> We need to cover this jail call between her and her colleague. One might call her her colleague, someone she went to school with, but, you know, probably, you know, one of the few people who associate with her. Because keep in mind, she doesn't even talk to her sister. Like, she doesn't even consider the two of them family when she said that, when she was cross-examining court. So she has a terrible family life. But anyways, these these are the people who, I guess, are answering her calls. Let's go ahead and check this out. Everybody grab the things you guys need, you know, preferably ganja, maybe a little alcohol. Let's get straight into this video. Secure it. You may start the conversation now. Hey there. Hey, I only have a few minutes because I only have like $1.80 left on my account. No, you know what? It said it was a free call. You yeah, because I have it? money. I have money that I had moved over for like movies oh. and stuff, but I still had $1.80 left, so that's why it's free. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I, crazy. She said she moved money over for movies and stuff. That's cr you have to pay to watch a movie. Listen, prison ain't free, y'all. Prison is an economy just like everything else. It's crazy how most prisons are privately owned and it's kind of it kind of pays to have people incarcerated, but neither here nor there. But yeah, dollar eighty, baby, for a movie. <laughs> You're incarcerated, but you better still figure out how to get that money. I'm paying for it. <laughs> Oh, okay. What's up? Um, I was just wanting to check on the um, account for this week. I'm sorry to bug you. I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. That's okay. I sent you 150. I figured when? out what the problem. I sent it yesterday. Okay, it's not showing up on my account. That's really weird. Hmm. Okay. How long does it usually take? It's usually right away. And I don't have any money owing or anything. I want to hmm. check your debit and make sure it went through. And I don't have any money owing or anything. I don't know. Something about Shonda and Paul, they both they both have the same tone of voice. Almost like dismissive, yet like, what's the word? I know better than you. Like this. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> dismissive and condescending. That's like the two things. Even though Paul is a dumbass, he'll say certain things in his jail calls. Or he'll make certain comments that make you go... What was that? Was that a jab, little shit? You little psycho. You know what I mean? Like, if you really pay attention, she's over here basically just kicking the door in for her money when this person doesn't even have to do this for her. Yeah, I, yeah, I think. Yeah, did you get my email? Uh, the one two days ago. No, yesterday. So no, I haven't I gotten think... it yet. I think what happened with because it came back on Consumers Energy too when I tried to pay on that. What the heck? Are you kidding me? The reason it's not it's my fault because okay. I copied the numbers down and I came upstairs to just sit here in bed and do my stuff. I think I transposed oh, no. the numbers and then okay. it blocked me from using um, from using a um, checking account on Consumers Energy. So I said screw them and I yeah. used it on BPE, my okay. gas company. Okay, so, good. Yeah, I think Yeah, because you know the money's problem. there. <laughs> yeah, I know. We were on the phone crying out yeah. loud. So I think so. that's what the problem was. But anyway, um, so, yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't gotten your email yet. But, um, yeah, if you could check and make sure that went through. I'm just, we're supposed to order commissary by 1130 tonight. And I've been feeding okay. myself with it. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not staying okay. down, but it's food. It's better than what they serve here. Um, right. But, uh yeah, so I have, like, nothing left for, from comments. I'm like, ah! So I'm like, like ah! Fucking weird-ass lady. It's crazy how this woman is even talking to her. I guess she might feel a little bit obligated, you know? A colleague, you guys used to be acquaintances of some sort. Because I feel like Shonda doesn't really have any friends. This is not the type of person who has friends, you know? Nobody likes her, you know? Like, if you're an unlikable person, even unlikable people 
won't like you. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a it's gonna be an overlapping effect. You're not liked by no by nobody. But um, yeah, you could tell you could tell her friend is just on the line. Like yeah, uh huh, yeah, I sent the money. Uh huh, yeah, I, I I did the money. For oh, by the way, shout out Zav girl. Um, her channel I think was the first to probably drop the phone calls. So gotta give credit where credit is due. Shout out Zav girl. You guys were bombarding my comments about her, so it's only right that I bring her up. But um, hell yeah, the, these calls. <laughs> They're worth it. Like a lot of what you three. heard. Yeah. No, no, okay. you're not bugging me. We I three. Just make thank sure. God. Yeah. Yeah, and if I call you with phone money on my account, it's only twenty one cents a minute. Which honestly is oh. not bad. So But I'm telling you, it's that free call, just like his does yeah. on Mondays. It's free on call Mondays, on yours. They give them, no. Oh, okay. On Mondays they give them all the inmates a free call because of COVID bullshit. Since we can't see them ah. as often. Yeah. You see, you see how dismissive she is. Going right back to the tone of voice that she and Paul have, even though Paul's a fucking moron. And somebody, there's a few people. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something real quick. There's a few of you guys in the comments saying that he actually has a learning disability, and we're making fun of Paul. Let me tell you something. I've been around kids with learning disabilities, like actually learning disabilities, and. Shout out to your situation. Somebody gave me a heartfelt um, comment. And, you know, your situation is what, what you're going through. But I'll tell you one thing. Paul is just a moron. He is not he is not mentally disabled by any means. He is not developmentally disabled by any means. Like, they even went as far as to put a test on this kid, okay? Couldn't use it to go, you know, couldn't use it to get out of the problem. So let's just take that out the air that we're bullying some kid with a learning disability. No, he's a fucking psycho asshole. That's it. Simple, simple and plain. That's pretty much how I commented back. But I needed to address that because I was like, no, no sympathy over here. Not in this corner, y'all. Sorry, they ain't, not in this corner. You ain't going to find it. My account, it's only 21 cents a minute, which honestly is oh. not bad. So, but I'm telling you, it's that free call, just like his does yeah. on Mondays. It's free and call Monday, on yours. Give them- it's free call for yours. Like, she knows everything, so why even argue with her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine this lady dealing with, what's his name? With Dealing with Timothy on some demon time, for sure. No. Oh, okay. On Mondays, they give them all the inmates a free call because of COVID bullshit, since we can't see them ah. as often. Yeah. So you might have one free call every week. Yeah, I'll have to check, but it said 21 cents a minute, which I was like, okay, fine, I've got like six or seven minutes. <laughs> so okay, well, we'll I'll see. check on that because I've been checking and ah, I was just like, what's with you? Yeah, I haven't gotten your yeah. email yet either, so who knows? These people, they better yeah. do it tonight or I'm going to scream at somebody. Idiots. Idiots. Yeah. Okay. Well, the guard um, that usually gets me see. books is supposed to be here tonight. So. Oh, good. Yeah. So can you get... Can you get subscriptions like Wall Street Journal or anything like that? No. No. Oh. No, just the books I have. Okay. Good. So, no, we can't get ebooks on our tablet, which sucks. It sucks on being in the county jail because they're way worse. Yeah. Way worse. So, yep. But, I mean, there's a guard that's amazing, but she hasn't been on shift in over a week. And either people don't know what they're doing or they're not willing. I mean, I've had a couple say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, okay, well, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever. When, when you told Timothy, yeah, I'm not going to do that. When he said, I'm hungry, you know what I mean? He just had to go and fucking kick rocks, right? This is the least she can do. It's funny that she's talking about all this shit, right? You know, oh, the books, the, oh, I can't get ebooks. The guards are idiots, this and that and the other. And she just killed, like, you know what I mean? She just killed, I should say, her kid. And she's she's complaining about some fucking books. The food is nasty. At least you get to eat. They should give her the same treatment up into her trial. They should pretty much starve her out. Don't kill her. Do it in a professional way. You know, starve her ass out. Make her drop some pounds and see how she feel. Then when they get to sentencing, she could kind of understand what was going on. I bet he's faking it. She literally said that. 
about a 15 year old who was 69 pounds. I bet he's faking it. Whatever. But. What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, well. All right. Let me let me see if I can get into this. Um, while I got on the phone here. Go for it. You It'll give me a one minute again. warning. Oh, they want my one minute warning. Our one minute warning. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll send you an email. But okay. I'll check it. I'll double check it. Okay. And I'll send you an email. Okay, I'll keep checking it tonight. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, they okay. better get with the program. So, well, at least I got to talk to you. All right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, then 10 minutes, but they cut them. I don't know why that one was so short, but, you know. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. All right. All right, sweetie. Oh, well, I love you. I love you, too. Take care, honey. Thank you. So much. I get my I get my results tomorrow, so I'll talk to you sometime after that. And let you know what happened. Sounds mm-hmm. good. I'm looking for. I'm praying. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> I, I ain't heard nothing back from Fred. Dang it! I emailed him yesterday. Yeah. Thank so, you for using Securus. I love you. Goodbye. Hello. All right. So that was the first call with Shonda. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we see where Shonda's mind is at, right? She needs her food. She needs her commissary. She needs her money. She needs her friend to act right. You know, all this. Ring any bells? Right? Wasn't Paul kind of like the exact same person? The exact same person. At least Paul talked about Timothy a little bit. Shonda, there's no Timothy in mind. The fuck? I need my commissary. The food is nasty. I need my 150 so I can buy my shit. And, and you know what I mean? Like, run some books over here while you're at it. She sucks. And she's ugly. I keep adding that. I'm adding that point for no reason other than she's fucking ugly. Just not attractive. Makes it worse. (laughs) Incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hey hey there. Morgan, I didn't wake you up, did I? No, I get up at 4.30. I thought we just had morning meds come through, so I'm like, oh, I might as well go ahead and put away. Perfect. Perfect. How are you doing? How are the meds working for you? They're still not. They haven't changed the morning ones. I, they added the Abil 5, but of course it takes a while. Um, right. But I'm hoping to see help us this week and see if they can adjust, if we can get the doctor to adjust other stuff. So, um, yeah. Plus, it's cold. I've been sick. That's been, I've got a chest cold, and I have asthma, and that causes breathing issues. So I had asked for a decongestant. Well, instead, they prescribed breathing treatments, which those help too. But mm-hmm. the problem is that the the medical people, there's only been one medical person that's actually giving me the breathing treatments. The others, I ask for it, and they forget about me. As they fucking should. You're over there sick in jail. We don't give a fuck about you. I don't know why they're going down medication and breathing therapy. They should be like, huh. Figure that shit out, ma'am. I mean, the the air is around you. Breathe it. You know what I mean? <gasps> like, figure it out. You breathe that shit. We fucking breathing therapy. You know, every time she bitches about something, it's just crazy to me. It's just wild. It's like, oh, you really, you really bitching about this? And you did you know what you just did? Okay. Nah, but you 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 angry though. Even though I hit the button and asked the guards, you know, hey, could you call medical and have them come up to do this? And medical keeps forgetting about me. How long because fuck the doctor you. Say you're supposed to have one today. And you're only getting them once a day? Well, I've only gotten them once a day, Saturday and Sunday, because that's, it's, that's one medical person. And then she wasn't here the last two days. She's here this morning. So she said she'll be back. It, usually she has to do it after meds pass. So she'll be back in about an hour. But yeah, it hurts to breathe right now. But you're only getting one. Did they test you for COVID? It hurts to breathe right now, but she just gave us an essay of what's wrong with her and what medication she took and what they're switching and what's not working. It, but it hurts to breathe right now. Such a drama queen. Yeah, I don't have COVID. It's just a, it's it's a cold, and then when I have it, when I get a cold, this is what my asthma does to me. Fuck your mm-hmm. asthma. Yeah, your voice sounds. Yeah, yeah it, it, I'm congested. It sucks, but 
Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> I just feel like crap. But Well, if you don't, if you, uh, if you're supposed to, if the doctor said you're supposed to get them twice a day, you're not getting them twice a day. You file a grievance. You need to read yeah, up on the grievance how... system in there. Okay. I will do that. Because Cause Carl's Michael got it down. Just... He knows. Uh, if, but if you know how to get on their ass, they're going to take yeah. better care of you. Okay. I just, yeah, so, I know these things. So I know. You need to read the grievance policies and how you do that. Carl knows them with the back of his hand. You know. They have certain time periods they have to be filed in and all that shit. So Okay. I think I've seen something yeah. about that on the tablet, so I'll go look as soon as we get off. Yep. Yep. So, that that shit handy. yep. Uh, so. so I had a question for you, and I feel yeah. bad asking, but, uh, you know, they're taking forever on getting a hold of my brother and stuff. Um, I was just wondering if there was a chance I could borrow the $75 for commissary this week. Cause that's how I- Bro, that shit is crazy. She's really out here just begging now. Like, <clears throat> she's reduced to the beggar on the side of the street. She She's just a beggar. Just unapologetically. Last time she's asking to make sure that 150 gets through. Oh, check your account. Make sure it went through. Oh, maybe it bounced back. Like, let's figure this out. You know, real helpful with the money. Now she's like, oh, yeah, I need, I need a little 75. You know, that's the only reason I'm, <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I'm calling you. I don't really like you because I don't have any friends anyway. I just use people. Come on now. That's come on. She is on that type of time herself only. I feed myself. I don't eat their food. I know, sweetie. I don't have it. Hold on. I paused too early. She was like, I don't eat their food. I need the commissary, the Doritos. And the and whatever else, probably ramen and some other shit. Um, I was just wondering if there was a chance I could borrow the seventy five dollars for commissary this week, because that's how I feed myself. I don't eat their food. I know, sweetie. I don't have it. I really, okay. really don't. So I just figured. I figured I would ask. So I'll- I think she's in the county jail. Um, when she gets to prison. She gonna eat their food. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna say that much. She she's gonna eat their food. And it's probably going to be worse. For everyone getting a hold of my brother and stuff. Um, I was just wondering if there was a chance I could borrow the $75 for commissary this week. Because that's how I feed myself. I don't eat their food. I know, sweetie. I don't have it. I really, okay. really don't. So I just figured I, figured I would ask. So. I'll check I'll check in your account, though, because remember last time I checked, you had like 400 bucks. I think I only sent you 150 out of there. So oh, let me check. Thought, okay. I, I think. Okay. I think. I, I um. And you said, yeah, I'll have to tighten down or something. And so yeah, I'm and I pretty haven't sure you're getting it. Yeah. Right. So at least I know. Weeks you have it. So I'll check yeah. your account and whatever there is, I'll send most of it and leave like five bucks or something in there. Or is there That's a monthly for now that they charge? Yeah, it's a ton dollar fee. It's five dollars. So how much do you want me to leave in it? Like ten bucks. Because will it close out if there's no money in it? No, no, it won't. Okay. So, yeah, I just, I'm like, I, I got to do something. I was like, crap, I got to figure this out because staying on him, um, but I can't, can't, I can't call Lydia. Do you have your brother's address? Yeah, yeah, I have his address. Write him a letter. I, don't, I have to get um, a stamped envelope. Okay. So okay. I'm going to, I have to order commentary. I have to get some commentary. Okay. She just wants that commissary. She she she's like, yeah. Can't you contact so and so, your brother, this and that? Oh yeah, I, I would have to mail the house and oh, I would have to get a stamp. Can you? All these excuses. She's just trying to get a quick seventy five, that she'll never pay back. Because why would she have to pay back? What are you gonna do? Send her to jail for not paying? You know, she knows she's back there forever. That seventy five you're about to give her, you're never seeing that back. I'm just saying, just letting you know. So I didn't, I hadn't ordered any because, you know, I, I've been so careful getting the food and stuff. But I can do that this week. That's a thought. Yeah. That, I'll I mean, do that this week. There you go. Then you know it'll get to them. Yeah. So hey, ridiculous. I don't have your phone number because they have my cell phone. You know, I yeah. have my numbers memorized. Everybody knows that nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So, but... And then okay. you get well, it when you get it, and that way we can communicate 
with him yes. this year. And that's so it doesn't have to pay first thing I'm doing when I get it is yeah, the first thing I do when I that I'm doing when I get it is giving it to you because I need you to have it. So yeah, but yeah, that's frustrating. I'm like, come on, they told us four weeks ago now that they were going to email it to Lydia. That's right. And but, uh, and I'd yeah, like but, Lydia to stay on. Yeah, I like I'd like Lydia to stay on the butt about it, but I can't call her because her number is restricted. Mm. It's blocked. It's like she blocked the jail. But she gave me her number. I'm like, what the heck? She you, you gave me your long number. Long not known it because I had to be careful because the when I do the um the prison one, it you yeah. get a different number than the jail one. Except yeah. otherwise it blocks. Yeah, you hit the wrong well, number. It blocks rather than accepts. Yeah, and they're well, only one number it, apart. Yeah. Well, this actually it comes up as restricted, which means she has the number blocked on her phone. I found that out. That's what that means. So I don't. Okay, like, but what I'm saying is, it says hit one to accept or two to yeah. reject and block. So yeah. if she accidentally hit the two instead of one, she blocked it okay. without knowing. I previously hit it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right, and sense. she has to actually go and unblock it. Yeah, yeah, I knew she had to go unblock it, but yeah. Yep. But I can't tell her that until I see her, and I don't know when. I'm hoping to see her this week. She, I didn't see her last week. But. <laughs> She's out here getting blocked and shit. You think it was unintentional? Well, let's take a moment. Do you guys really think that was unintentional? Because if she's anything like Paul, she's reaching out over and over and over, and pretty much respectfully but demandingly begging and saying like yo give me some money because i'm not eating their food and this and that and the other you know what i mean same type of trend she's over here begging they blocked her shit they're like nah bitch i'm not feeling you no more <laughs> yeah i accidentally hit two i mean when you get a jail call i don't know if you guys ever got a jail call it's it's quite specific like press one to accept two to deny i didn't know they had a block feature but, you know, it's, it's, come on, we don't make those mistakes. If we're really trying to talk to the, to the person we're trying to talk to, we're not making that mistake. So, yeah. All right. All right. Well, I don't want to run your phone bill up. But... All right. Well, I have a little bit of money on my account, so it's, it's already, this call's yeah. already paid for. Okay, good. Although I had to I had to open it back up because they like they put it I don't, I don't know what they I guess because I hadn't used it and so all I had to do was click a couple buttons and it opened it back up. I had some bucks in there. But no, I had to, I put out last month I put out over twenty one thousand dollars to get my daughter out of that lease over where she was at. Yeah, it, it was it was just like I'm fucking broke. Yeah. It's I disgusting. do it with that, and I was like, well, I'm going to ask just in case, but I figured, yeah, yeah. but you can always ask, so, yeah, but I figured the answer's guaranteed to be no if you don't ask, so. That's right, that's right, and then normally I should, probably not, probably not a ton, yeah. but I could, you know, yeah, um, yeah, do something, but I'm just like, God, it's so it's cold, it's mm -hmm. really freaking well, cold, keep moving, do some, do some, well, hard to exercise when you can't breathe. Yeah. She's like, well, move around, do some, do some exercise. This shit is classic. This is comedy. Yeah, do some jumping jacks, fucker. <laughs> do some stair runs, like she did Timothy. Fuck it, let's do some chasing stair runs. Have one of the guards chase you around the fucking common area. That's, I can't do that. Get that blood pumping. And plus, you know, I, I don't want to get up front of the blanket because that's the only semblance of warm you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's kind of catch twenty two, but oh well. I'm whining. I'm sorry. No, yeah, so read are. those. Read those. The things. I'm and, going to file a grievance. Okay. I don't know these yeah. things. So you, you are such a blessing. You and your husband are such a blessing to me because I've no clue on these things. But I know you're a fucking lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so well, yeah. And thanks for checking my account because I have to order tonight. So. If there's money there, that'd be okay, great. great. All right, I'll do that. Um, and start looking around in there. See if there's people that need, well, probably not in there, but if you were in the regular prison system, you're going to have yeah. people that need appeals and stuff like that. But you might have, you might have, there might be people in there that are like, want a divorce or anything like that. You could actually do the paperwork for them. If you've yeah, got well, access but, to, 
you know. Well, yeah, we've got a law library on our tablets. And do you, can, can you type in print or? No, but I can handwrite stuff, and I've got really good handwriting. Oh, there you go. No, I could handwrite it. I've got really good handwriting for official documents. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shonda van der Ark, folks. Shonda van der Ark. What a person. So, I mean, now that you wait to add income for you. Yeah. You know? The problem is that Max, there's five of us in here right now. And three of them are crazy as all get out. Let me tell you. Oh, the one above me that they just put above me about a week ago. She's like six, seven hours a day. She screams at nobody. She screams and cusses and carries out conversations, and there's nobody in the room. I mean, it's, yeah, and then night before last at 3 a.m., I actually dozed off, and she threw it with the totes that we have, they give us. And she was like throwing that thing around, woke me up. <laughs> I was like, what the? Yeah, so. Yes. But, I, I did find out a girl that I had been, when we were still in the big pod before they put us in this little bitty one, um, I had been helping her. Um, she she was charged with perjury on a murder case, which in this state is a life offense. And so I was helping her and, and telling her, you know, this is what they have to do and this is that. She, I just found out she beat the charges and this out. Oh, you're being Miss, Miss TV show lawyer behind bars. She helped somebody get away with perjury. <laughs> It's so funny how the karma is coming back to her. You know, she she would keep Timothy up, force him to stay up all night. Oh shit, that scared the shit out of me. My sign fell. Anyway, she would force him to like stay up all night, make him run if he fell asleep. You know, sleep deprivation, like not feeding him, ice baths, real crazy shit. Now she has a crazy ass roommate banging shit and throwing shit at her every night. I mean, come on, people. The karma is too real. The shit go, go shit goes in a circle. I don't care what anybody says. Shit goes right around in a circle. So you better have some good shit going out, because it's crazy how that shit came back to her. Awesome. Good job. I'm trying to get a hold of her phone number. So, but I was like, oh, that felt good. Because she yeah. and her brother were asking me because their attorney was useless. I had seen their attorney from my work as a law clerk, and he was useless. I mean, frat boy, just total, oh, my gosh. And um, so he wanted her to take a plea deal that would have been 30 months in inbox. Oh, jeez. I'm like, no, absolutely not. But I just found out she beat it. And is and somebody's trying to get her phone number for me, which is nice. But, um, but yeah, I helped her with that. That felt good. Yeah. So I feel focused on something else. And they still don't have our calls as private. So, now you try oh. the phone in the pod, because I'm on the tablet right now, but the phone out in the pod, you actually can choose an option to go private. And I tried when, uh, night before last, when I would call, I had tried to call you on the private thing, and it said that this number was private. I couldn't do it that way. Yeah, no shit. You're in jail. <laughs> Imagine you're Pablo Escobar, and he's like, oh, press two for private call. Let me call international on private. Like, that doesn't work, you fucking moron. Like, only the person calling you probably could set it up, and would, you would have to have some type of court something to allow you to do that. Because the last I checked, all phone calls in the jail system are public, you know, public information. There's no privacy. So, so you can use your pod to call, to make calls? Or you there's a phone your, out in the pod. So I, the meant, I meant you can use your tablet to make, okay. Huh. That's how I usually call you is on the tablet. Hmm. Okay. Because we only get an hour out in the pod every day each. Hmm. Join yeah. Max. Gotcha. So. Cool. Uh, yep. Right. No, tablet's nice. Keeps us. I, I wish that they had some limited YouTube or internet on it. Because you yeah. can't search the internet at all. Like, there's no option to anything. So. That sucks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Restricted alpha laws do, which I understand. Restrict searches or something. But, you know. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thankful to have it. Yeah. yeah. So, I found anxiety for the podcast. Oh, sorry. You what? 
What were you saying? Go ahead. Oh, um, I found this because we have podcasts on it, but it's very, I mean, we only get access to a few and they choose them. Um, but I found it's called Anxiety Slayer. It's for people that have PTSD, uh, panic attacks, stress, and anxiety. And this fucking lady. Oh, yeah, it's for people who have PTSD, you know, panic attacks. So, about her, you know, her self diagnosis, because she has all of these problems. And I mean, she's about to go into court and she's going to tell you all about them, you know. There's going to be so many acronyms, bro, that you're not even, you're going to be like, okay, this, she got this, she got that. Oh, wait, but she has this as well. And then that affects this, which causes that. Man, all bullshit. And I know people like this. This is the person, this is the person who their, their, their problems, may it be health problems, may it be financial problems, their problems are their personalities, and they'll, you'll be talking about fishing. Like, yeah, I like fishing. I, I, I like when, when I catch a fish and he's going to be like, yeah, you know, my asthma has really been fucking me up. So I haven't been able to go fishing in a long time. And you're going to be like, yo, what the fuck? We're not even, she's that person. And they'll, yeah. Anyways, let me, let me continue. Stay away from these people. They're fucking draining to your soul. There's some good stuff on there. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to have you read some of those cases that I sent you I started reading them uh, yeah I read the, yeah I read the two that you sent okay I read I read the first one and I read the second the appeal I think I read the appeal I don't know yeah and haven't read the original or something I don't know vice versa but anyways yeah I just read the appeal last night but I'm feeling so rotten right now I'm kind of like yeah the, I read the original case a few days ago and I felt better so yeah, it's, it's hard to focus when your head's stuffy and couldn't oh. breathe. Yeah. Man, I forgot <laughs> she was stuffy and couldn't breathe. You know, this is all, man, she just be talking, talking, talking. Half the shit that she say is wrong with her is not wrong with her. I can't even call her a, com like, I almost said she's a complete con artist, but she's not even a con artist. Nobody believes her. She's bad at lying. Probably a shitty lawyer. Passed the bar her first time, probably by chance. No, I'm, she's probably smart because she she passed high. But still, that shit was by chance, bro. She's too stupid to be a lawyer. It's crazy to me. Like, how are you going to be doing all this shit? He's 15. It's not like you can just keep doing it. You know, the second he goes outside, he's going to run the fuck away. He started yelling at somebody, save me. You know what I mean? So anyways, her her game plan, I don't think she had a real ending to her game plan. Like, yeah, we're going to fuck with him. Okay, he's 15. Okay, he's 16. Okay, he's 17. What do you do at that age? You know what I mean? Like, stupid. Anyways, people, I love you guys. I'm going to see you in the next one. We're going to have fun with this case. These These phone calls are crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know they existed. Until you guys got in my fucking, until you guys got in my comments and whatnot. But anyways, people, I'm going to get up out of here. Stay inside, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.